Hello, you stream monsters. Well, not really stream monsters, but happy to, happy Fourth of July. I'm recording this a day early because there's something I might put on here that I think you'll like. It's for Walmart in these goggles. I don't know. I kind of look like engineer a little bit, or a little bit of a beard. If I put it up. Anyways, I am Anthony Beyond. It's from Mission Star Podcast, and uh. Yeah, there hasn't been much updates, except for there's been new news. I have been updating some new news on the site. We are working on it. I actually plan to put some more up uh, today. So see, by the time you see this, you'll see some new news on the site. Anyways, um, I'm here to kind of update you guys what we've been up to. Um, obviously, again, we're a little slow. This is summer. We got lives to attend to. We, you know, this is what we usually do. Um, but the podcasting are, are still coming. Um, there's a new one this week that me, Chris, and two other that Chris is bringing along that I think be the first time I met uh, talking about uh, the kind of generalization in, in, in girls and gaming. Um, I guess in a, in a sense, I mean, I mean, talking about, you know, the issues lately with the video game uh, industry and this, I guess, the generalization of girls, um, not to mention like, you know, hey, if you haven't heard about, you know, what, uh, what happened in, in the Tomb Raider Laurel Croft demo at E3, there was some skepticism and kind of criticizing of, like, one part in the demo, uh, which it looks like it's going to lead into rape. And then the, the guys who are making the game say, oh, it wasn't rape. It's not, it's not implied. It's, yeah, dude, it really is. So we're going to discuss a lot of that. So be sure to check out our podcast um, on, on, our, on our links over here. Check it out. On our iTunes, uh, we'll have it up by this Friday. You guys should check it out. Um, also, you know, be sure to check out, uh, you know, other stuff, our affiliates. You know, the one thing I've, I always forget to do, and I think I should start doing this more, shout-outs to all the affiliates associated to our website. Shout-outs to uh, Run Around Network. Shout-outs to Artistic Alliance. Shout-outs to uh, Living Ichigo. Kind of Footage Convention Blog. Shout-outs to you guys. I think I don't have enough. I don't think I have enough... Uh, uh, love for you guys as far as I put it, put it on here. But, anyways, um, so yes, that's kind of what I've been up to. What I, I have been up to, though, this past weekend is that obviously I I couldn't make it to AX for obvious reasons, money wise. But this is the most ever I've ever been on a computer and watching just whatever footage I got, pictures, videos of Anime Expo. And the very curious things I wanted to see that the combination of Anime Expo and X Games. Now I I said before in prior in the previous video the uh, the way that the X Games had their st st uh, sub setup versus the uh, Anime Expo, and from what I've seen from videos, it seemed like it was true. The um, the uh, the the videos um, I mean the videos um, the. Uh, the the cosplayers were restricted to not that many areas. I was watching ESPN and watching just to see what the Anime Expo would look like. They were X Games were taking a good portion of some of the spots that the cosplayers would go to gatherings usually, um, which I think really hindered Anime Expo cosplay gatherings. But I think they still managed to pull it off. I wasn't there for sure, but it probably made it made things a little bit more inconvenient for them for what i've seen um so it but other than that it looks like nothing went wrong they were you know fine uh nothing no fights no kidnappings no nothing now here's a curious thing i i had to say the okay so i was i think it was sunday and i was looking on twitter and on facebook anime expo for i was it at 3 30 sunday uh, afternoon decided to open its stores free for everyone to come in for uh, to walk around have fun but it can only go as far as like any rooms exhibit hall that's the only place now and this is they, 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 this is the thing they, they set this out for free uh, for everybody like if you didn't have a badge you could you could walk in and you can go to exhibit hall my that there's a very curious that was a very very interesting move on anime expo's part i'm not quite sure why they would do that i'm thinking 
I I I I I, I, I can't exactly know why the reason is. I'm thinking maybe because of the limitations they had before where they couldn't use the Nokia Theater, they couldn't use the other areas of the LA Convention Center due to X Games this year. I believe maybe, I don't know. I I want to say maybe something happened. Maybe something like they were, I don't know. I, I, I honestly don't know. So it, I, if anybody's out there watching this in the comment below, please tell me your theory or kind of explanation to why you think Anime Expo kind of did, did that. Um, on Sunday to Mon uh, uh, Sunday afternoon, um, maybe it's just uh, maybe it's just kind-hearted people with anime expo. It's like, hey, what the hell? Go ahead, you know, have fun, you know, you know, free, you know, more publicity. X Games is right there, so might as well. So you know, maybe that's I mean that that was the reason to take advantage of the X Games people. Um, so the other thing I want to talk about, and I'll put it up right here. So. This story has been up already today, July 3rd, but it's to be up by tomorrow on our site and I'll talk about it. So, what I'm talking about is, okay, let's be real here. Um, we've been with these, we've been, we have been with these consoles, the Xbox 360, PS3, Nintendo Wii even, for a very, very long time. This has been about the longest I think we've ever been with a console since um yes yeah, actually i think it's the longest i i don't think anything longer because the average lifespan of each console cycle has been three to four years and then or even at the most was five me maybe maybe but every three to four years there'd be a new console coming out this has been the longest we ever seen uh with a console i think the longest i'd take that back ps2 was probably the longest because they were like saying they wanted a 10-year gap they were, Tony was present for, they want the 10 years to really last on that PS2, and they made it last. <laughs> so, the, the, this has been the most, year, this is the most, like, six, seven years with each console. Maybe even more so than others. So, I read today that there's a rumor going around saying that there's a new console, obviously in the works, by Microsoft, called the Xbox 8. And I'll show you right now, hang on. No, that's not it. Okay, so uh, thanks to Shaq News, um, the Xbox 8 is rumored. It is the domain has been registered by Microsoft. Now here's the thing, because like I want to, I want to, I want to highlight, I want to show you, I want to tell you this. I'm pretty sure you can read this, but like because specifically Windows 8 and Windows Phone 8 are launching after this year, which makes a lot of sense if you think about it. If they do name it Windows 8, now. The question is, um, you know, there's no doubt that they've been working on a console for a while. They, they've been ha they had time. My question is, you can up the graphics so much. You can add whatever nuances you can to a 360 or a Sony or a Wii. At some point, the consoles are going to do pretty much about everything you need. Everything that you want to do on a computer will be on a console eventually. I mean, the other big story that happened this past weekend was um, uh, Sony bought Gaikai, uh, the cloud service um, uh, uh, guys who uh, uh, who do cloud gaming or you know they have a cloud service. You could potentially do the same thing as on live does when you could stream content and gaming. You don't have to use that hard drive space as, as much as you used to on a, on a Sony platform. So, where as far as like you know, I feel like hmm, you know what's weird It's like I feel like we've been with these consoles for so long that I think maybe we don't need to really change another another console. I think we have so much invested in these three four consoles. I think if any of the three that we need to be changed or updated, it would probably be the Wii. Um, but the, we've been with these consoles for so long, and we've been um, devoted to how long we put our hours into into these consoles and how much money we spend on these games uh offline or online i mean microsoft introduced the whole you know digital uh digital bot game on on xbox live uh and able to play it on there without having a physical copy so i'm not quite sure 
Um, I, you know what? It, the, the game industry keeps on evolving, and we're gonna see new consoles, anyways. I feel maybe like we maybe we've reached a point where we don't need to make another new console. We just we can keep what we got. But yeah, well, that's kind of how the game industry works sometimes. So, anyways, that's my two cents. Um, just kind of you know throwing that out there. Um, I might you know do some more new stuff. Who knows? You guys might like it, might not. Who knows? Um, anyway, so I want to go back on an AX thing. Okay, so this is something I've been noticing. I'm not quite sure if this happens at other conventions too, but I'm not, but it may or may not. I want to say yes. Um, so I'll, I'll prevent. Fanime, this past year, I think the last three, four years, there are these, these guys that always be in the front and they're always preaching about God and how, you know, what we do in our life is a sin and that we must repent our sins to God and Jesus. And obviously they're talking about, you know, our uh, anime conventions, you know, lifestyle, dressing up, watching animes, uh, having fun in, in our own aspect and what they view as something as devil worshipping. So, th I've, there, there were a different set of people who were doing the same thing at Anime Expo. Now, I'm not sure if this is a trend happening or it has been, but eventually, I mean, we've got, we've grown to really, you know, used to it. We mean, like, did, you know, we've ignored them and whatnot. I like to show you something. He's, this is actually pretty funny. Uh, Anime Expo people are pretty awesome for doing this. Not, not that. Yeah. All right. So let me, let me just show you. Hell. Heaven? For hell. <laughs> Repent? And believe. <laughs> Cookies. <laughs> in the Lord Jesus Christ. And you'll be saved. Heaven? For hell. Repent? And believe. In the Lord Jesus Christ. And you'll be saved. Heaven? For hell. Heaven? For hell. La vida es corta. La muerte. <laughs> I like the fact that they, the guys that put it in Spanish and in English. Arrepiéntete <laughs> <laughs> Life is short. Death is short. You should go on the hillside. Judgment day is coming. Heaven or hell? Yes, that is godlike. <laughs> I applaud, I, I, I applaud the guys, and you can watch the entire video, just look up on YouTube, AX uh, Trolls, uh, I think it's just called AX Trolls, uh, Jesus Christ, or whatever it's called, anyways, so, um, one last, well, two last things, one more thing, and then, then I'll end it, because I know it's kind of running kind of long, um, uh, so I, I've been, I haven't been playing games as much, ironically, um, I've been obviously I'm finished uh, Alan Wake's American Nightmare. Um, I've been meaning to. I know I'm at the very end. I can feel it. Hopefully, um, and I will play it on stream. Maybe, 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 <laughs> or I'll record it, um, and I will p upload it as soon as I can. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just been lazy. I I I'll be honest. I've been lazy. I've been watching as much fighting footage as I can for Evo. I've been slacking on my part. I, I apologize for that. And, you know, that's kind of why nothing's going on on the site except for podcasting. Um, but, yes. Yes. Anyways. Be, just be on the lookout. YouTube. It's on our channel. Boop, boop. Okay. So, I'm going to end on this last one because I know this is running a bit long. And I'm sure you guys are, are bored of me and talking about with, with these cool sunglasses. But, anyways. In the spirit of 4th of July, I have something very special for you guys. And I believe this might be a tradition for me every year to watch on Rift Traps, of course. There's no way I can watch this movie seriously. Oops, wrong one. Yes. Uh, yeah.
morning. They're a little young. That they are. They look a little nervous. All right, I need all flight crews to report to their designated areas immediately. Major. Marlin, sir. Good morning. Good morning. In less than an hour, aircraft from here will join others from around the world. And you will be launching the largest aerial battle in the history of mankind. Mankind, that word should have new meaning for all of us today. We can't be consumed by our petty differences anymore. We will be united in our common interest. Perhaps it's fate that today is the 4th of July. And you will once again be fighting for our freedom. Not from tyranny, oppression, or persecution. But from annihilation. We're fighting for our right to live. To exist. And should we win the day, the 4th of July will no longer be known as an American holiday. But as the day when the world declared in one voice, we will not go quietly into the night. We will not vanish without a fight. We're going to live on. We're going to survive. Today, we celebrate our Independence Day. And that's going to do it, guys. All right. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you all next week.